Hey, everyone. Brace yourselves for some shocking news that just came in. Former President Trump has been shot at a rally in Pennsylvania. Stay tuned as we bring you the full story and the latest updates. You won't want to miss this. This is truly a stunning event that no one saw coming. At a rally in Pennsylvania, former President Trump was shot. The details are still emerging, but from the initial reports, we know that he was bleeding from his ear and seemed to be in some pain. The good news is that he's not critically injured and appeared to be in stable condition as he was taken away by the Secret Service. This incident raises serious concerns about safety and gun control in our country. Regardless of political affiliations, an attack on a public figure like this is alarming and unacceptable. Violence is never the answer, and this act does nothing but deepen the divides we already face. If anything, it undermines the principles of democracy and peaceful discourse that we strive to uphold. We're gonna show you the clip from the rally. Please be aware that it might be disturbing to some viewers. Probably 20 million people. And you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old, and if you uh, wanna really see something that said, take a look at what happened. As you just saw, the rally turned chaotic in a matter of seconds. Shots rang out, people screamed and the Secret Service quickly moved to secure the former president. It's a relief to see Trump get up and even raise his fist to signal that he's okay. This kind of resilience, regardless of one's political stance, can be seen as a powerful moment of defiance against violence. We need to reflect on the broader implications of this incident. It's a reminder of the urgent need for effective gun control measures. Attacks like these highlight the vulnerabilities in our security systems and the need for stricter regulations to prevent such occurrences in the future. The political climate is already tense, and acts of violence only exacerbate the situation, making constructive dialogue nearly impossible. To everyone out there, remember, violence is an intellectual surrender it signals that we can't resolve our differences through reason and debate. Instead, let's focus on engaging in meaningful conversations and finding common ground. The strength of our democracy lies in our ability to disagree without resorting to violence. Thank you for staying with us through this breaking news. If you found this update valuable, please like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. We'll continue to bring you the latest news and in-depth analysis on this and other important issues. Stay safe, and let's work together for a more peaceful and united future.